Hi YouTube and welcome back to my Let's Play Diablo 3. Um, this week we are heading to a town called Wortham uh, to look for the final piece of the Stranger's Sword. Um, and this episode is actually titled um, The Doom in Wortham and we'll see that pretty quickly in terms of why it's called that. But uh, this is a, a pretty quick um, chapter in the, in the storyline of uh, of Diablo 3. So this is uh, uh, one of the shorter videos because of that. And as you can see, it's it's just shy of about seven minutes long. Um, so here uh, we are in rhythm, and as you can see, everything is just burning um, to the ground, basically. And uh, in the meantime, I just hit uh, level um, level 13. So uh, continuing to level up quickly. So with a new level, that usually means new spells and new abilities, and so I'm like, okay, well, we'll try the Steed Charge thing, see what that is like. And then we have a new passive skill that's got unlocked called Vigilant. Um, it's reducing, increases life generation, reduces uh, damage versus the Heavenly Strength, which we're using currently. Um, and so since we're not currently using um, a two-handed weapon with a shield, um, I decided to try the new um, skill just to see how that uh, plays out. Um, but then uh, we'll um, we'll have to switch that back um, if I ever pick up a really good two-handed weapon because I would like to be able to have a two-handed weapon and um, and a shield at the same time. That would be pretty darn cool. Um, all right, so here we're just kind of taking out uh, members of Manga's coven. Um, that we've run into in the past. They're always, uh, wherever we are looking for the sword, there's always these coven members. And we need to uh, take them out. And we're running into a villager there, and he's basically, help, help, save us, save us. We're telling him, don't run that way. You get yourself killed. So he, uh, he ran into the church, thankfully, but yep, here's Magda again. You know, once again, you know, leveling threats against us and uh, sending, uh, sending ever more powerful uh, coven members at us. There's that steam thing that we've seen. Um, I ultimately ended up deciding I don't like it to so eventually get rid of it and change back to the US. I think. Um, or whatever skills I was using. Now, these three that I'm fighting here with the Dark Preservers, um, at higher difficulty levels, um, you can't just take them on like I am here. I'm, I'm, I'm normal and it's very, it's a fairly easy fight. But if you ever take them on um, at a higher difficulty level, number one trick with them is to kite them. Um, kite them around the town um, because the one of the things that they do is you can you can have them chase you and then they'll stop for a second while they try to lift their big heavy hammers up over their heads and then try and smash you with it and that's the perfect time you get a pause to be able to um, whack them as hard as you can and then keep running before um, they they throw the hammer down so and then just keep kiting them until they they stop and do that again and then blast them and, and you know just kind of keep doing that one at a time until you get them all um, taken down so that's my that's my big hint for taking down berserkers like that um, or any kind of critters that look like those berserkers because they tend to have the very same mo uh in terms of how they attack um okay so we have come down to the cellar and the sword piece is missing and uh, we're getting a uh, um, communication from magda again saying haha i already got the sword piece and um, I'm going to collect the other two pieces, which means we have to come back to Tristra. It's your choice, Cain. Either use your Herodric arts to repair the sword, or your dear Leah dies a horrible death. <laughs> All this pain, this destruction, what is the sword to you? To me, nothing. To my master. Belial, everything. <laughs> Your rage is overwhelming, girl. You win this round, but if the sword cannot be mine, I'll claim the one it's bound to. 
in the end. The blade shall be mine! Uncle... You can't die! Nothing can stop that now. But there is one last thing I must do. The sword must be made whole. Just as I suspected, the sword is of the high heavens. The stranger is an angel. Heed the journal. The truth lies within. Uncle Deckard! Alright, so unfortunately we lose Uncle Deckard uh, at this point in the storyline, which is kind of sad for Leah, but um, unfortunately uh, he was uh, he was older and just uh, just couldn't uh, couldn't withstand the attack. Plus, um, Leah's own power um, just overwhelmed her, and um, I'm not sure if Uncle Deckard ended up dying because of the attack from Magda or from uh, Leah's unleashed explosion or combination um, thereof. But either way, it's a it's a it's a tough thing for Leah to take. And she um, she regrets it obviously um, quite a bit, and you can read that in the text over here. But anyway, this uh, episode is wrapping up rapidly, and I am going to say thank you very much for joining me. Um, please like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy these videos at all. And uh, please, until next week, take care. Bye bye.